Hi guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video we are going to be taking a look at Resurrection Remix 5.8.0 on Redmi Note 3 and first of all bear with my voice if I sound weird cause I really have very high fever right now so just <laughs> I'm sorry if I mumble some words so as you can see here's the lock screen and Resurrection Remix is like a mix of Google's Pixel uh, Edition ROM not an edition but the Google's Pixel phones and just shit load of customization but, but as you can see here's the home screen you do get a pixel like circle icons over here many of the icons are a circle over here but some of the apps which have been replaced by the g apps like this phone app over here or some other apps like the calendar those don't appear like a complete zero as you can see the fit app or some of these apps like google play games but majority yep it's circle <laughs> and looks pretty good but initial impression it's very smooth as you can see the slider is blue also the color is dark gray over here basically a pixel theme as you can see the icons are no more uh, green there are like blue like pixel ones and basically you get all the same options like a lineage os or cm 14.1 as you can see we are running 7.1.1 the latest android over here and it's very fast and smooth even the android scores are around 84k which are above note 5 and iphone 6 which is just insane this phone is very fast and all of the features which are like performance oriented and everything everything has been implemented over here the configuration hashtag gets resurrected as you can see we get shitload of options over here the clock customizations the brand logo you do get also brand logo in the status bar pretty cool touch system you are doing legend okay it's the normal system you are doing which were in the developer version of the nougat let's go to the panel notification panel can we adjust the shade color shade stroke does it change the color oh wow it's very very nice touch actually so here you can just uh, disable your settings shortcut as you can see now it disappears from here you have the edit icon the multi user switch pretty good it's very deep into the customization it's not a everyday ROM I mean you can use it for everyday but uh, not for heavy users actually I don't know why my asset color is not been disabled then we have the resets you get the general UI you can also have the option for clear all button you can also have the bottom right bottom I want the bottom center just like the Samsung as you can see it's in the bottom center pretty nice touch it apps recent style omni switch is also there it's like a slide to recent apps just like in the kitkat it's like a basically a pie control you can enable it like this and you get your normal recent apps disabled and this thing over here you can clear all clear one uh, clear the app on the bottom you can just uh, rearrange them adjust the grid style or open all of the apps and uh, surprisingly this doesn't lag this phone is very powerful quick settings you have the quick settings animation and everything tile layout is over here advanced okay there are no shit ton of options over here i'm not going to through them lock screen you have the lock ui you can basically just turn off everything over here just go crazy with these options <laughs> just take a look at your lock screen there's nothing over here let's like, just unlock it that's pretty simple you have the bottom shortcut security and everything do we get fingerprints okay fingerprint scanner is not over here gesture anywhere app circle ball by pi controls basically shit ton of customizations over here you have the buttons do we get a navigation bar yep okay so it's the pixel one i've never seen actually the pixel one it's, it doesn't have like animation over here but it's pretty much a pixel one as you can see in the dark it looks pretty much the same for some weird reasons the recent apps is not working about resurrection here you can get the info and the source code over here miscellaneous you can just enable the warning notification or disable them you can just remove the notifications which can be removed you get the display size over here these are some display uh, options just moved over here so some animations are working as you can see i just uh, changed the animations for configuration tabs over here you get the buttons again there is one awesome feature i'm missing over here you also get a system app remover over here and if you go to power mode, there is an on the go mode and it's really useful if you're walking and using your phone let me just give you a bit of demo here is the okay on the go mode over here <laughs> and there's me i don't know why it just switches to the front camera i want the back camera over here okay there are some options use the front camera no i want my back camera okay so back camera is not working i guess pretty weird i don't want my front to be shown and basic stuff everything works i don't guess the video recording is right now working let's just check out also the back camera is having some issues at the speed this uh, roms reboot are very good let's just restart whether it fix the camera the boot animation is one of the coolest you can find on any kind of ROM. 
well that was pretty quick let's just check whether the camera works or not okay so back camera is still not working uh, okay there's the front camera i don't know why the device is like showing my face again and again and we can't even choose the back camera i guess from here there is no option to switch camera that's pretty weird so the installation of this rom it's a pretty simple you have to just unlock your bootloader and install a two up recovery after doing that just hold down your power and volume up now the device will boot into the recovery as you can see we are now in the recovery mode you can just wipe your dynamic system no need of internet storage or micro sd card just swipe to wipe now right now i have my rom on the usb otg so i will connect that mount usb otg just mount the firmware and cast if you don't have it go to install here i select the rom just add more zips select your open zips now i will suggest you a uh, micro pico or full uh, don't go for stock or super otherwise you don't get the play store due, due to some play services issues there it is just swipe to in 8 to 10 minutes the rom will be installed on your phone now once the installation has been done you can just reboot your system right away now this will take about 10 to 5 minutes according to your device ram or speed this is a 2 gig of version and it takes around 10 minutes So the ROM has been booted and as you can see you do get pixel like uh, setup over here you can just adjust your widget settings as you can see it tells me to tap it cause I am not selected the let's go. Let's just go for the pixel launcher looks good. And there you go, there is your Resurrection Remix on your Redmi Note 3. Hope you guys enjoyed and if you find this useful, please drop a like, please subscribe for more Redmi Note 3 videos. And thanks for watching, peace.